Hi everyone, good Thursday afternoon and welcome to Go Local Live. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for tuning in on this very warm day here in downtown Providence. I'd like to welcome in Raul Palanco. He is the supervisor at the IGT Contact Center here in Providence, overseeing more than 100 employees. Providence native, Zucalo alum, med school graduate, now has risen through the ranks to supervisor Raul, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. I appreciate it for you to come in here and tell your story. Tell us a little bit before we even get into the contact center about your path with IGT. Obviously, graduating from the Met School, and here we are now that you're a supervisor. Tell folks a little bit about your story. Absolutely. Um, well, uh, I've been at IGT for a little over nine years now. Um, I started off as an entry-level call center associate who basically uh, supports uh, IGT's customer support calls uh, across the country and some parts of the world. Um, I uh, was luckily involved in various projects that uh, kind of helped expand my uh, knowledge of the business uh, as well as some uh, professional skill sets. A uh, combination of those skill sets uh, and that knowledge kind of led me to my current role today as a, a contact center supervisor. Uh, and today I kind of do a little bit of that, help guide the teams to support our um, IGT's customers across the world. So tell us a little bit about that, the inner workings of the contact center, you know, from the location of the contact center to, you know, the number of employees and just what goes on from a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, the contact center has many moving parts. Um, uh, the bulk of, uh, of, of the, uh, the parts that, that move there are the, uh, the associates, the customer support specialists. That's the bulk of our workforce. Um, uh, we also have, and, and they, like me, started off taking uh, customer contact calls and helping uh, basically fix their lottery terminals or their gaming machines. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a small team of business analysts who uh, specialize in... Uh, basically forecasting uh, a call volume okay. or uh, a little bit of uh, um, staffing requirements. Um, it's along very nuanced, to, very, very yeah, technical. Yeah, <laughs> very much. Uh, they, they handle a lot of the uh, operational functions of the call center. Um, and then you have uh, your, your senior associates, the, the tenured associates there that um, high performance, they help out with the uh, quality, the coaching, um, and a little bit of the training for the call center. And then you have the leadership team, which I am uh, a part of, um, who kind of oversee that and make sure that it runs uh, nice and smooth on a daily basis. And one of the things that I saw, Raul, uh, job openings at the contact center, you know, if someone is looking for employment opportunities, what, what does it take to work there? Yeah, no, we, uh, uh, we're pretty, um, uh, I mean, it's very, you go to a, a contact center uh, like IGT, our training is very in-depth. Mm -hmm. um, the, the trainers that we have there can basically take anybody uh, with an, uh, an education level ranging from a recent high school graduate to a uh, college educated professional. And um, with the training they provide, uh, you can have very little customer service or no customer service experience and still be able to succeed there. And one of the things that the contact center IGT is known for is excellence. It's won a number of awards. Now, you've been there for nine years. Tell us a little bit about that. How does IGT and the contact center really differentiate itself in the field? Definitely. Um, IGT has actually been recognized as a top performer um, globally um, for contact center best practices. Uh, we've, uh, we've won awards uh, for best help desk of the Americas, which I personally had the opportunity to present. Um, we've, uh, we've won awards for best data analyst, uh, contact center trainer, and many, many more. Okay, so do you have a shelf with all the awards all lined up? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> we do. Um, so tell us a little bit uh, more as well, again, um, you know, you talk about the skills, it can really train anyone. I mean, what does a training program look like? Again, someone might see a job posting for this, um, you know, if they were to go, as you said, very comprehensive. Uh, how long does it take? And um, I imagine it's quite intensive. Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely have, uh, we support a lot of uh, customers from different support channels, from the gaming side of the world, um, or the casino side of the world, as well as the lottery side of the world. Um, so uh, training does involve a little bit of both. Um, I would say uh, if you were a new, absolutely new person with little or, or no experience in uh, customer service, you can come in and it'll take about a month of training okay. uh, to uh, get all of that under your belt. 
And so you just alluded to my next question here, Raul. Again, you know, located here in Providence, um, would you say it's maybe one of the kind of the best kept secrets uh, here in the in the city? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I mean, it's it's right in the middle of the city. Um, I personally live five minutes away from it, so it's super easy to get to. Uh, very comfortable. But as you said, the reach is wide. So tell us a little bit. I mean, nationally, I mean, IGT is a global company, so the the contact center really has a, a very far reach. Yes, um, we uh, we support customers from all over the world, um, not only uh, the Americas, North South America, but um, some European uh, customers as well. Anything else you want folks to know? I mean, I don't need you uh, to divulge any secrets or give away the secret sauce, but again, that contact center here, as you're the supervisor with nine years experience under your belt, what do you think the average Rhode Islander should know? Again, if they drive by it, maybe see the sign, or if they're hearing about it for the first time, what would you like viewers to know? I think uh, uh, just opportunity. Um, there's opportunity right right under our noses. Um, the contact center is a perfect uh, example of this. Um, I, I, it's you know, a good springboard into many uh, different uh, uh, career paths that um, folks may have. And as you said, that training, that month-long training, that was going to be another question as well, probably really um, provides a lot of skills that, as you said, are transferable. You're the perfect example of someone who's risen through the ranks and stayed at IGT, but again, those who might work there for a short time really have a, an education, if you will, in the real world that they can take with them when they move on. Absolutely, yeah. Um, again, it's like a springboard kind of uh, uh, place where um, we're involved in so many different uh, aspects of, 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 the, of IGT and their products and the, and the support that we provide our customers. So a lot of project management, um, a lot of good speaking skills, different languages. Um, it's, it's an absolute perfect springboard um, place to work. And what has it meant for you as a Providence uh, native to stay here, grow your career here, have a family here, um, you know, really to, uh, you know, achieve and grow right where you grew up? It, it does feel good. It's comfortable. Um, you know, uh, I, I kind of feel like I grew up uh, here. I mean, I've been here for the last, uh, with IGT in the contact center for nine years. Um, I learned a lot. Um, and uh, I've seen my peers as well that have been, uh, uh, you know, side by side with me, working with me for, for uh, that long or even a little shorter. And they've grown a lot as well. So it is a, a very uh, nice thing to see. Because a lot of times folks say, yeah, we have to retain young folks here. We got to keep the best and the brightest here in Providence and Rhode Island. Don't let them scoot away. I would say you're probably a, a perfect example of that. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time to come in. Again, tell folks a little bit more about the 100-plus jobs at the contact center alone. Again, the 1,100 jobs here with IGT, one facet of it. And again, a homegrown, I'd say, success story with Raul Polanco here to tell us about now being supervisor after nine years at IGT, giving folks a little more insight into the inner workings of the global company with a big footprint right here in Rhode Island. So Raul Polanco, thank you so much for taking the time to thank come you, in. Kate. Thank you for watching us here in downtown Providence. Again, a very warm afternoon. We look forward to seeing you back here soon. But of course, catch us on golocalprov.com. Find us on Facebook throughout the evening, and we'll see you back here shortly. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel.